everyone and welcome back to another vlog um i know it's been a minute since i've been on here and i wish i had a good enough excuse to give you guys other than i just just haven't posted <laughs> so i don't have any really you know any real reason any kind of like legitimate excuse as to why i haven't been posting so um but welcome back so glad that you are here and um yeah i am just right now i am putting on a privacy screen on my phone so i just thought i would vlog and just kind of multitask while i'm doing this so um but yeah as you probably would have seen i think i filmed um me working out and everything like that so that's kind of i guess that's what i've been doing while i've been sporadically posting on here or i should say not posting because i haven't really posted that much i think the last video i posted was my birthday haul i think um and if you guys haven't watched that be sure to watch it um but yeah so that was the last i think video that i've posted so i've just been kind of mia i guess ever since then so i'm trying to get this i'm putting a privacy screen on my phone because when i'm out and about nothing annoys me most when people are when i'm like on my phone and people are like being nosy <laughs> and looking while i'm on my phone i just think that's so rude like why why would you do that like it's so nosy um but i'm so i'm putting a privacy screen which I am long overdue for putting one of these on my phone. And this one in particular is so, you have to get it on here just right. So I'm trying my best to get this thing on here just right. So just bear with me as I do this. But yeah, so that's what I'm doing right now is putting a privacy screen on my phone. Um, that I just got it from, I just actually just got this in from Amazon not too long ago, probably, I don't know. 10 15 minutes ago so trying to like get all the air bubbles out um but yeah so i guess that's as far as catching up i guess we'll catch up a little bit um i've just really been just trying to reset i guess for the month of february because we know january was my birthday month and so i basically celebrated myself ate really bad food and shopped until i dropped and so that's actually today what I'm going to share with you guys today. I have um, some more shoes that I wanted to share with you guys that I purchased in January that I just didn't get until I think the end of January or I don't know when I got most of these shoes. Um, but anyway, just some shoes I wanted to share with you guys that I purchased, you know, got, got, got for myself for my birthday. So I'll show you guys those in just a second. Um, but yeah, so I just really haven't been doing a whole lot. Just like I said, been trying to reset. I just recently started back working out. So I've really been focusing on that really. I've been trying to get into a routine because one thing about doing, you know, filming and doing YouTube videos is that it's time consuming and I really don't have time to do much of anything. So um, I guess that's really what I've been doing is just trying to really focus on getting into a workout routine so that I can stick to it. Um, cause like I said, once I, I don't have, I'm trying to get all the air bubbles out of this and I don't think I have. Um, but yeah, so that's what I've been doing. Just trying to like get into a workout routine so that I can be consistent with it and not have anything to kind of like distract me from it. Um, because once I get into that YouTube zone, I just, yeah, I'm just so busy with YouTube. So that's really why I guess I haven't really been posting all that much is cause I've been trying to like reset i guess if you will most people reset in january but because that's my birthday month i can't reset because i'm doing the most <laughs> in january so um february here on out i am resetting my life and getting my life together child um and actually keeping keeping the goals <laughs> that i said i was gonna actually do as far as like um like you know help doing health healthy stuff the stuff that we all typically do the beginning of the year so and I still haven't got all these air bubbles out and I'm just real annoyed about that I may have to take this thing off and try to see if I can get these air bubbles out um, but I guess that's good enough um, let me see let me check this camera on this thing cuz I feel like I don't even have let me see if I have the camera yeah I guess that's fine you have to set it you have to align it align it in such a way where the camera is gonna um show or the camera is not blocked so i hope i did that right but i still got air bubbles in this thing there's got to be a better way to get this thing on here but anyway it's on now so i'll just have to keep working with it um but anyway <laughs> just rambling now um but yeah so i hope you guys have 
been doing okay and um yeah i've just like i said been trying to reset and um get my life together after january so my birthday month is over but it don't still that you know it still don't mean that you don't you can't treat yourself and you know um really do what you need to do to get yourself back on track right so um that's the that's the goal for february is to get back on track and february is a, a short month so it'll be I feel like february it'll be easier to do it in february because like i said february is a, such a short month so i can get back on track um hopefully really quick uh, i'm just gonna have to play with this because this is driving me nuts um yeah i got this like i said little screen protector slash privacy screen from amazon and it came with like the little um camera protector as well so i'm trying to put this on figure out how this goes on i'm just doing a lot today as you can see doing the most today so see if i can snap this on um is this correct or not girl i don't know i feel like this is gonna be too much let's see let me turn my camera yeah, I guess that's gonna be okay. Yeah, so it came with like a little protector for um, your camera, your lenses back here. For the I have the iPhone 13 Pro Max, by the way. So um, anybody that has this camera knows these these lenses back here are easy to get sh or t are easy to shatter. And I'm shocked I haven't shattered them and messed them up already because I've had this phone probably two years. So. Um, but yeah, this particular, um, and I'll link this down below in case you have the iPhone th 13 Pro Max and you want like a, um, privacy screen and you want like a protector for your lenses on your camera. Um, I'll link this down below. Like I said, I just literally just got this from Amazon today. Um, I ordered it a couple of days ago, so it came today. So I'll link it down below. So I'm going to have to get work on that in a little bit and get the, get all the, um, uh, what am I trying to say? All the air bubbles out of there because I have a lot. <laughs> Still got a lot of air bubbles. They don't know how to get air bubbles out of these things. I'm used to my husband putting this on for me. He does such a good job um, putting this, putting these things on for me. So I thought I'd be be able to do it myself. But oh, here we go. Just got to get like a piece of, um, like a piece of plastic here and get these bubbles out and just kind of smooth them out so i'm gonna keep doing that um so yeah let me keep doing this and then i'll come back and share with you guys what i got um just like four pair of shoes i say just but yeah you probably already have seen these because i've shown these on my community tab so i'm gonna show them right show them to you in just a second i don't want to keep rambling while i get these air bubbles out of my phone i'll be right back all right guys so let's get into the nitty-gritty i have four pair of shoes here and as you can see they're all mostly adidas sambas or not adidas sambas adidas gazelles so i'm going to start with the one off which is from ralph lauren um we'll do the adidas gazelles because they're all adidas gazelles which i don't own a pair of adidas gazelles i own a pair or a few pair of the adidas sambas so i just thought i would try out the gazelles which i don't think doesn't seem like there's much of a that big of a difference but anyway so um, the first pair I have are these from Ralph Lauren and I got these on sale. Ralph Lauren sent me all these things I bought in January. So I'm just now showing them now. So this is part of my, uh, splurging for my birthday month. So, um, but anyway, so these are a pair of, um, heels that I got. I've been wanting some like this from Ralph Lauren and they gave me, for my birthday, they gave me a 15% um, discount code that I could use off of anything on the website. So, um, I wanted some shoes. I typically get, like, sweaters and button-up shirts, things like that from Ralph Lauren, and hats, because I love the brand. So, I don't think I have a pair of Ralph Lauren shoes. So, just thought I would take advantage of the 15% off, and I think these were also on sale, I think. I could be wrong. But anyway, so... Here are the shoes, and I don't know why I have hair on them. I've already unboxed them, so in some kind of way managed to get hair on them. <laughs> um, but here they are. So they're just a pair of um, slingback heels in this like brown, kind of brown color. I don't know what color this is, like a 
like a chestnut color so and this just has like this small little kitten heel which I love and they're just a very classy shoe and I was debating against these and um, like the ones that have a bigger heel um, but I decided to get these because I think these will be more comfortable um, so yeah so I just thought these were classic they're shoes that I'll have for years like I'll be wearing these in my 50s and 60s I'm sure and so I just thought it'd be a good investment. Um, they wasn't, they weren't that expensive actually, to be honest. Um, and I got these in a size nine and a half, um, cause I am a true nine and a half. And so, yeah, so these are what these look like. I have something similar to this that I got, I don't know, for years ago. I don't even know where I got them from. So I'm going to swap those out and get rid of those. And these are going to be my new, like little brown nude shoe, if you will, like a chestnut color, but I love this color. So, and I love the sling back detail because that's just classic and will never go out of style. So, just a classic pair of shoes for a classic, you know, look. So, glad I got those. I'm glad they gave me a 15% discount because that's probably the only way, only reason I would have gotten those shoes if not for the discount. So, um, but yeah, love those. Like I said, I got them in a nine and a half and I am a true nine and a half. Actually, let me put them on because... I don't even know if they fit. Hopefully they fit. One of my feet is bigger than the other. I don't know. Do you guys have that issue with one of your feet being bigger than the other? Am I just the only weirdo? But yeah, one of my feet is bigger than the other. So I'm trying to see if these, because you know with sling back heels, like the sling back can come off, especially if your foot is too big or yeah, too big. Is that right? No, too small. So yeah, these fit. Yeah, the sling back isn't coming off of my heel, so I was thinking if I needed to possibly get a nine and a half or nine, because I got these in a nine and a half. So um, you can't see, girl. But yeah, so these will be just fine. So I'm just gonna keep the nine and a half. So because um, then, like, yeah, my feet will probably swell like in the summertime, because these are shoes that I probably will wear like in the summertime like a cute little dress or something i think these will be cute for that so um but yeah so love those just some you can't go wrong with just some basic plain heels right and then so the next pair of shoes um are going to be these adidas gazelles all of these are adidas gazelles by the way um these let's see which ones are these okay so these I have to give you a story time with these so these are the ones that i had on my fall wish list um, last year I showed, I shared that video and these were on that wish list. So, um, I just went ahead and went ahead and got them. And these are the uh, Adidas Gazelles, the bold, let me just show them to you. Um, so here these are, so they're like in this pink and navy blue. Uh oh, just dropping stuff everywhere. They're like in this pink and, um, navy blue color and they actually came with some navy blue laces too so and i wore these i wore these to my son's basketball game they had like um i don't know if they had breast cancer awareness day or something um i didn't know wasn't aware like all the the team like the girls basketball team had on pink and the boys basketball team they had like their um sh shooting shirts that were pink so and the the gym was decorated with pink balloons so i didn't even realize it i, I wore these with some jeans and a t-shirt i think and like a pink hat didn't even know that was a thing so i guess i just felt it um uh, but anyway so these are the Gaze adidas gazelles and i love these i love this pink color just perfect for you know the spring is spring's coming up summer's coming up so it's time to like get these pastel colors out and like i said it came with some blue laces which i don't think i'll ever put the blue laces in i just I don't know maybe I, I may do just maybe do one blue lace i like that look but yeah so here are those so like i said those were on my fall wish list so i'm just now getting them for in the winter time slash pre-spring because spring is coming up soon next month i think it's the first day of spring i can't believe it like this this year is already just well i say it's flying by but it's really not but it's hard to believe that it's already spring i should say this season this winter season is flying by um but yeah so those are the first pair of adidas gazelles and then the next pair i got are these these are um what are these 
Um, yeah, these are the gazetas, the gazelles. I, I, yeah, I'm gonna show you guys the color of these. So these, um, I showed these in a um, LTK um, post, a uh, mood board. Like I was sharing like different like peach items because we know peach or I think it's called peach fuzz is the Pantone color of the year. So um, I just like put a whole bunch of pieces together and like that peach tone in case you guys you know are interested in like peach love peach or want to try out the color and wear it or you know utilize it i don't know it's just a fun little mood board that i did so anyway so these shoes were on there and these were also on another mood board where i show like a pair of adidas gazelles and also those other ones that i just showed you um were on that mood board on my ltk shop so but these are the next pair and there are the, the other ones were more of a chunky sole these are more you know the basic sole and they're like in this pink and peach color and on the website they definitely didn't look pink and peach <laughs> this they definitely the shoes look or the laces look white so the laces on these are definitely like a pastel pink so um and i don't know these shoes look like bowling shoes i know a lot of people say like the Adidas got Sambas and Gazelles like bowling shoes and I never saw that until I got these. These definitely like bowling shoes. I don't know it's just weird but um, I do love the color. I love this peach color. I think it's such a pretty color especially on my skin tone and perfect for like the, I said the spring and I've already worn these. Um, I think I just wore like a just a basic neutral outfit and these are my pop of color so I um, definitely love them. Definitely similar to the uh, Adidas Sambas so yeah um don't really see any difference in the the wear as far as compared to the adidas sambas but um definitely love this colorway so and these are new season i got these from i got these all from different places i think the pink and blue uh pink and blue ones i got those from um i think i got those from farfetch and then these i got from Maybe I got these from Farfetch too. Yeah, I think I got these from Farfetch. Um, and then the next ones I got, I got these next ones from um, Louisa Via Roma. Louisa Via Roma. I think it's based in Italy, but they have like different, you know, uh, different like brands and stuff on there. Um, something similar to like, um, it's like a department store online. I don't know. Um, I've never. I don't think I've ever shopped there. So. Um, anyway, so the peach ones, those are new season, and these ones right here are also new season, and these again are Adidas uh, Gazelles, and these are new season, and I was debating about whether or not I wanted, to, which ones I wanted to keep. Um, you'll see why, what I mean. So the next ones are these. These are the Adidas Gazelles in the um, platform, and they are in the green and pink colorway. So similar to the um, pink and blue ones, but these just have the green. So that's why I said I was debating about whether or not I wanted to keep these or the blue and pink ones um, because they are similar. It's just the stripes on them is different. So actually, let me just take the other one out and show you. So I've already worn these, so I guess I can't take them back. Although they, doesn't, they don't look like I've worn them, but I've already worn them. So I guess I can't take these back, but I don't know. You guys let me know, like... They seem similar. This, the pink on, I don't know, the pink on this seems a little bit darker than the pink of this one. And this one, the pink seems, looks a little bit rougher, like a, like a more of a textured kind of a detail than this one. This one's more of like smooth. So I don't know if you can, you probably can't tell the difference, but um, I don't know. I like both of them. They're basically the same shoes. Like I said, just, you know, the pink and the blue is just different. Um, I don't know the pink shoes on or the pink laces on these are more of a fluorescent kind of vibrant pink um and this is more of a like a toned down pink so I don't know you guys let me know I don't know I think I'm gonna just keep both of them I mean why not I can wear like um jeans with these and then I can wear I have a lot of green I have so much green if you've been following me then you guys know I have a, a whole collection of like green pieces including what I have on now so this will be perfect for a lot of my green pieces so I can just kind of like wear these with my green pieces as a matter of fact I think I'm gonna wear these today because um, it goes with my green sweater so yeah I haven't worn these yet so but I'm pretty sure they're just as comfortable as the um as the pink and blue ones. so 
Um, but yeah, so that's it. Those are all the shoes that I have purchased or purchased for my birthday. Um, or my birthday month, I should say. So, um, yeah, that's it. Um, I do have a few other things that I purchased during in January that um, I wanted to share with you guys. They are pre-loved items. One of my style goals and fashion goals for this year was to um, purchase more like secondhand. <laughs> Although this last month or so i haven't been you know doing that as, as you guys seen from all the things that i've been purchasing but i'm definitely toning it down for the rest of the year when it comes to like new things at least i say that but who knows girl like i love to shop and i love i love new things and i love i love fashion that's just it is what it is i love fashion i love style i love to you know mix and match things and add things to my wardrobe so that's just something i love so um, but I do want to focus more so, like I said in my fashion and style goals video, that I want to focus more so on secondhand pieces. And so I purchased some luxury secondhand pieces. So I will share with you guys those things in another video. I'm not going to do it today, but I am going to share with you guys those things in another video. So stay tuned for that. Um, yeah, I have some new in luxury pieces that are pre-loved that I'm excited about. No, I think I said I wasn't going to get any luxury pieces i don't know at this point i don't even remember every i don't even remember all the things that i say girl i say so much but i think i did say i wasn't gonna get you know any luxury pieces but i have like on vestier collective especially i have like a wish list of things on there that i want to get so mm, so there goes that so but i will share with you guys those things like i said later so be sure to if you're not subscribed by the way be sure to like and subscribe so that you don't miss any of my videos so um but that's it um i'm sitting here trying to like still play with this phone and get this thing i think it's fine though it looks better than it did as far as getting all these air bubbles out of my um screen protector so um it's two o'clock i gotta go eat something i haven't eaten all day i tried to like work out on an empty stomach i know some people don't like to do that but i do because i don't feel as sluggish and I, I don't know it gives me more energy to work out i don't know what that is um but i definitely need to eat something because it's been it's almost two o'clock and i haven't eaten and i think i'm gonna go to zaxby's they have their um new zaxby's um not new it's not new they just bring it every every season um the uh zaxby's sensation salad oh i love that salad so i think i'm gonna go get me one of those and eat it for like a late lunch um because it is two o'clock and i am starting to feel it i'm starting to feel like i need to eat something so i'm gonna go to zaxby's and get me a uh, um get me a um what am i trying to say Sally girl um so i'll take you guys along with me and that's really it i don't have um uh, anything else really going on today and like i said i haven't been doing a whole lot of anything really for the last couple of weeks or the for the time that I've pretty much been MIA on here. Like I said, I've just been, been trying to reset and taking the tags off of these shoes. I'm getting ready to wear these pink and green ones. Um, but yeah, I haven't been doing a whole lot. Just just trying to reset and get my life together for the, the rest of the year. And trying to like, yeah, just like focus on um, getting my fitness back on. Get my mind right. Get my mind focused. And yeah. So... But yeah, I'm going to finish getting dressed and getting ready because if I don't, I'm going to sit here and continue to ramble and actually clean up some of this mess because I have boxes everywhere from stuff that I've been buying. So, but I'll be right back. I'm going to finish getting dressed or I just need to put my shoes on. So anyway, so I'll be right back and we will go and get something to eat. All right, guys. So here is the complete look of the day. Um, let me turn you guys up a little bit so um yeah this is the completed look for the day um so let me just talk about my outfit so um as far as my top i have on um a white tee it's actually a crop tee um you obviously can't see it because i have this sweater on but it's a cropped white tee that i got from cos last year um as far as my jewelry i just have on this little um like colorful little necklace here little beaded necklace that i got um for one of my beach trips that went on a couple of years ago um it just has different colorful beads on it just thought i add a little pop of color um and then i have on this necklace from amazon 
and then on top of the white tee I have on this green cardigan that I buttoned up it is from H&M I think I got this last year um, my handbag just one with a small little handbag shoulder bag this is from NAKD fashion I just recently got it these pants here these trousers they're like a they're so comfortable I got these from ASOS last year I believe they have like a little pleating detail down the middle and they're kind of like sweat they kind of remind me of sweatpants but they're like a trouser so so comfortable um and then of course i have on my pink and green adidas gazelles um just love these just gets like a little pop so i love pink and green together by the way so i love that color combination and then as far as my sunglasses i'm going to put on my green tinted lenses and also green frame um, sunglasses these are from uh, free people so just to kind of go with the green of this outfit so but this is the look of the day I don't think I went outside briefly to get the mail and it felt didn't feel too cold where I needed to like put on something else so I think I'm just if I'm not getting out of the car I'm just literally going to get a salad and coming right back home so um so I think I'll be fine to not put on a, a coat or anything so but yeah this is the look of the day so I'm gonna get out of here and go get me a salad girl because I'm starving <laughs> I want to get the Zensation salad and um, I want to get the um, egg rolls as well. All right, y'all. So I am back home and I am about to tear into this salad. Let me just show you this salad in case you don't know what it is. This is the salad. It looks so good. Like there's chicken on it and it comes with like a little egg roll. And I actually got some extra egg rolls. They're like veggie egg rolls here. They used to not come um with extra rolls egg rolls i remember whenever they used to have this a couple of months ago a few months ago i asked for extra egg rolls and i didn't have it and you couldn't buy any extra so now you can buy them extra and then this is the sauce or the dressing it comes with it's a citrus vinaigrette and it comes with two packs of that so i'm about to put this on here girl and like i said i'm about to throw down on this food because yeah and then i also got I me mean, a little peach tea here so good but it's a little too peachy like i love peach flavored anything but that's just too much peach all right y'all so i'm digging to this salad because i am i'm about to tear this salad up Ooh, i'm about to tear it up girl all right i'll see y'all in a minute <laughs> Hi guys, so it is the end of the night and um, as you guys saw, we went to my son's basketball game. I don't even think I even mentioned in this vlog that that was one of the things I had to do today was to go to his basketball game. So we just, um, yeah, went to his basketball game, was senior night. So um, it was actually a pretty fun and exciting game. So a lot of the seniors that never get to play were, were able to play tonight. And so it was just so fun um, watching them at their last regular season game. And then they have, um, of course, their regional tournament coming up soon. So, um, yeah, so that's basically what we did um, tonight. Um, after I had my little Zaxby salad, I just basically went on YouTube and just was watching YouTube videos and, like, took a little bit of a nap. Um, but, yeah, so I just wanted to come and close out the vlog and actually give you guys my monthly devotional um if you're new here um i've been doing well i did it last month it's only been this is only february so but i did it in january where i give you guys um a devotional from my planner um this planner i got from walmart and each month it gives you a new bible scripture to kind of reflect on for the month and with it being you know you know um valentine's day or valentine's day come you know coming up then this this scripture i guess is kind of fitting for that occasion um but anyway so yeah so i'm gonna read february's um bible scripture and this says um delight yourself in the lord and he will give you the desires of your heart so that's coming from psalms 37 and 4 so um i love that scripture um 
is such a powerful scripture even though it's short and sweet it's such a powerful scripture um, to remind you to just you know be happy and joyful in God regardless to what you have or don't have um, always find yourself delighting in the goodness of who God is because regardless to what you think you don't have that you know you you have more than you need um, and when you learn to be content in what you have actually you you get set up to receive more because the emphasis isn't on you know what you can get from God the emphasis is on um, your relationship with God and just being in God and just enjoying you know um, just enjoying what you have and just serving God because of who he is and not because of what you could potentially um, get from God or gain from God as far as materialistic wise or whatever it is because we sometimes only see God when we want things but if we learn to delight ourselves in God um, always regardless to um, what our circumstances are you know regardless to anything just take all take out you know what you want and give God what he desires and that is just to please him honor him and you know find yourself um, having joy and happiness in just God being God you know I know we live in a world right now where everything is crazy turmoil you know there's so much going on in this world right now and a lot of people would say you know God doesn't exist where is God you know why would he let this and that and the third happen but uh, I, I still believe in God. I still believe he is a miracle worker and I still believe that he can change things and a lot of times it's us he's trying to change. It may not be the situation that you know needs changing. It may be just something that he's trying to develop and um, to get out of us you know so um, but anyway I just kind of went a little bit deeper than I should have probably with that but yeah so yeah just find yourself you know delighting in the lord and he will give you whatever you need like there's no need to worry um when you delight yourself in god because when you delight yourself in god anyway you don't really you're not worrying about what you want and what you think you need anyway because i feel like god will give you a sense of contentment a sense that you know you don't really need anything a sense of fulfillment um there are a lot of people in this world who have things and those people are wealthy people and you know the rich and famous they have lots of things right um but a lot of them are still unhappy because you know it's not things that make you happy it's god you know it, that's it's pretty much the the gist of it is that god is the one who makes us happy it's not the things it's god that you know gives us fulfillment and gives us joy in life and that's who we ought to be seeking after first and foremost besides things so but um, anyway, so th that is the devotion for the month, the motivational moment. I try to give this to you guys every, no, well, not every vlog, but I try to when I can remember. I don't want to just give you something, you know. Um, I like to think that I give you guys, you know, motivation that can help you through whatever you're going through. And I don't just want to, you know, put out something, just put out something, just to be putting out something. So, um, but yeah, so that is the February devotion. Um, again, it's coming from Psalms 37 and 4 in case you want to read it or read the entire chapter. So, um, but that's it. I'm going to end this vlog here. I hope you guys enjoyed coming along with me on today. Um, all the things that I showed you are the shoes, I should say, that I showed you guys um, in the shoe haul, the beginning of the vlog. I will link those things down below. Everything, you know, everything that I can possibly think of to link down below, I will link down there. So just be sure to check in the description box um but yeah that's it i hope you guys enjoyed the video if you did don't forget to like and subscribe and i will see you guys in the next one all right bye guys <laughs>